All right, here goes the run. Back to where we just died. Honestly, I don't know if these guys will follow me all the way up to the bonfire, but I figure they will, so... Wow, they do... They, yeah, so their little roll attack would have killed my ass anyway. And there's a ton of them up here, too. So they will all roll at you at the same time. So yeah, just, I, I don't, I don't really know another good way to get through that area other than running, but that's just my advice, I suppose. Just run. Oh, perfect. He's exactly who I wanted to see. Because he has a shitload of health. And he's got pursuers. And a whip. Okay, he's dead, so I can take it. Actually, Havel is the preferred option here. Because the other one is a... Basically, he's naked and has a hat and Ricard's rapier. So it could be a hell of a lot worse. Um, we could be fighting him right now. And he's really fast, but I know Havel's moveset really well, so... Wait, I thought he couldn't roll like that. Oh, no, he can't really do anything else. And he's really fucking tanky. As he should be. I mean, he is covered in stone. Oh, my God. How? <sighs> fucking hit me with that. Only on that one particular time, I would bet anything I would get Havel. Fucking damn it. And now we have to run all the way back up there, which is equally as fucking annoying. Of course he hit me that time, that figures. Yeah, piss off, Snake Man. Oh, and we have a fucking invader. They're always around here. I hate them with a passion. No, really? Oh, and I lost all of those souls because of that goddamn dragon. God damn it. This run has never, ever given me this much trouble. Come on, load, game, load.
Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Uh, that little zigzag is, I, I've heard that that's worked for people and I've seen it work for people. I've never gotten it to work before. No Havel, no Havel, no Havel, no Havel. Naked man, yeah, so we'll go kill him first. Her, it, the snake thing, and then we'll deal with Rickard's rapier. Gotcha. See, he's way easier. It's Rickard's rapier with like a, a Ricard. You're still alive? I did not know I left him alive. <laughs> that could have turned out way, way bad. All right. The reason that I got so mad is because the bonfire is literally right here. It's right here. It blah, made me, makes me so mad. All right. Since uh, we are still pretty, it's still pretty early in the episode, we're going to pop a squat and we're going to keep exploring this area because there is actually a, a bit more to explore here. Um, not that I have a bonfire, I'm not as mad. I did lose a bunch of souls, but in the long run, those will, won't matter too much. Not that disappointed about the souls. I'm more disappointed in the deaths because that run has almost always worked for me apart from that little, this little bit here so I know for a fact up here we have a little asshole tadpole I don't know what the hell these things are I'd like to think they're like variants of the crystal lizard because they have like multiple legs but they're super super tough and they're way way meaner And they breathe fire, which is odd. So, yeah, I try and kill them as fast as humanly possible just because they're they're assholes. But up here, um, how I, I said earlier that we can actually get able to stop spawning from those. So while he's doing that, um, here's Hable the Rock that he did his he's been doing his due diligence, obviously, which is slaying dragons. And we are just going to come up behind him and just wreck his fucking shit. Hi. <laughs> How are you? You don't seem that enthused to see me, Havel. What's up with that, buddy? No, fuck. Like, at least I got a backst- It doesn't- It's not going to do that much damage, though. Fucking Havel. See, but the problem with this, his whole, his whole thing here is that that happens. He can't move. <laughs> so you have to get close to him. So if you literally just kind of walk around and let this wear off, he can't really touch you. Until, of course, he, you know. I forget that this weapon has war cry on it. Ooh, shit. Okay, I didn't even know that move existed until just this moment. So, that's pretty cool. That's a, a Yorm, one of Yorm's moves. Like, just straight up stolen right from his arsenal. Ooh, and one more. Oh, shit. Is he really blocked all of that? You little bastard. Havel, you're shit. You die. All right, and so that, he is a permanent uh, death. So you get the Dragon Tooth and Havel's Great Shield. And there is another Titanite Slab. So if we do want to upgrade that Cleaver to max, we can now. Um, I don't know if we're going to do that. We are going, we're going to try and get up there. Well, uh, uh, up there to the right, all the way up on that cliff. Because there is, um, in the next few minutes because there is a one a really cool vantage point and two there is something up there that i kind of want i, I don't really want it i just kind of want to get up there and get it because this is the only character i haven't gotten it on every other character i've played this game on i've gotten that weapon or well that item i suppose it's not a weapon per se but yeah piss off Oh my god.
All right, that is good to know, because that does a ton of damage. I like that. Large shard. I believe he probably dropped a large... Ooh, man serpent something. I assume it's their little... Um... Thingy. Their weapon. Um, it's gonna be... It's gonna be a curved... Some kind of curved weapon here. I'm probably totally missing it. Like a moron. Yeah, I know I'm missing it by like probably a country mile. Yeah, I heard him. Wow, I did not know that they could do half health. Oh, there it is, right there. Man Serpent Hatchet. Broadly curved blade that can sneak past shield. Interesting, and it's War Cry as well. No, no. Yep, there we go. Okay, I really don't care if I die after this because I don't think they'll follow me all the way up here. Well, I know one of them will. I know the big guy won't, so I think we're safe. So if we pray to this again, we will get something. Twinkling Dragon Torso Stone. So that is like an upgrade for the Torso Stone. Now that's what I wanted to show everybody to end this episode, is because that is a dragon, a mountain-sized dead dragon which i don't know that to me really solidified the how cool this area was not the boss that we're gonna get ready to fight or anything else it was that that view is so freaking cool to me and I, you know it's it, maybe it's just me it must just be me uh you know what we're gonna go ahead and homeward bone <laughs> sorry buddy that's my dog she's old and she coughs All right, we're going back to Fire Link, so we are going to go ahead and do that. As we're loading, we're going to go ahead and depart on this session. So that is going to be it for this time. Um, I hope everyone had a good viewing experience. I don't know what I was going for there. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, and, of course, if you guys liked, go ahead and like it. If you guys really, really liked it, go ahead and subscribe down below. All right, groovy guys. Have a good night.